Hello and welcome back to Tips from the Tech Bench. Over the years I've developed several jigs to make uh, bench work a little easier. Uh, one of the biggest frustrations on pinballs was always working on a board and having to take it back over to the game to plug it back in to see if there was any more problems. So most of my jigs start out looking like they were made by uh, MacGyver on crack. So I took some time to clean this one up as the first one to see if there's any market for this sort of thing. This is the lamp driver test jig. Uh, used on the Bally uh, 251814, the 251823, and the Stern Lamp Driver Board 100. Uh, basically, it's two parts. as your driver, which plugs into J4 on your board. Let me line that sucker up. Plug it in. And then the receiver board has two different plugs. This one here is for either J1 or J3 on this side, and then this one here is for J2 on this side. So you plug the board in, make sure the unit's plugged in, flip the power switch, and it sends a signal testing all of the decoders, all of the SCRs, and is recorded here. Now on these I've made notations as to which light runs which transistors. The, uh, like on for example J3, which is what we're plugged into now, Q24 is not used, so that light won't be on. If there was a short, for example, let's say uh, let's say Q57, that's an easy one. So that one's blinking right now. Let's say this SCR was shorted. So we're going to short this out and the light stays on. If it was open, there would be no connection at all like these. So the same thing goes to the other side. So this is just a little test video to see if there's a market for this sort of thing. If there is, let me know. I'll make a few of them. Uh, maybe make some more test jigs for various things. Like I say, over the years I've done several. Some of them are... Um, uh, MPU test boards and solenoid driver test boards and various different jigs I've done. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.